It's your big moment. Oh, that's right. It was right. a rare and special invitation to only a handful of journalists to fly to Norfolk, Virginia for a close-up look at some of the Navy's aircraft carriers. Yeah, and while I spent the night on the USS Harry S. Truman, I also got to see the Navy's latest and greatest carrier. We're talking about the USS Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier. So we kick off our High Seas series all week long with a look at the multi-billion dollar vessel our American sailors call home. It is the Navy's latest and greatest, the USS Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier. It is a super carrier that will replace the Nimitz class carriers, and everything about this ship is bigger, stronger, more advanced, a lot more expensive, yet more efficient. The cost to build the Gerald R. Ford was approximately $13 billion. But you also have to remember that this is an aircraft carrier. This is a vessel that's going to last for 50 years. And one of the interesting things about the Ford class carrier is that it requires 500 less sailors to operate. So if you look at over 50 years, 500 sailors and what it would cost to uh, man, train, and equip those sailors, you're looking at about saving $4 billion over the lifespan of the ship. One of the technological marvels of the Ford is the aircraft launch and catch systems. While the Nimitz class carriers use steam, the Ford uses electromagnetics, which are lighter, more efficient, more powerful, and easier to use. The Ford was docked in port at the Naval Station when we saw it, and is it ever incredible to see in person. At over 1,100 feet long, its nuclear reactors push her to 35 miles per hour. But what's even more amazing, the men and women on board. I'm in awe of all of our ships. Uh, I'm in awe of the Gerald R. Ford, but really, to be honest, Scott, the thing I'm most in awe of is the fact that this is being operated by sailors who are 18, 19, 20 years old. You know, there's a lot of people that um, say that, you know, this generation of kids that we have today, all you know, these millennials and where's our country going? Well, when you spend an afternoon on the Gerald R. Ford or on board the George H.W. Bush or the George Washington or the Abraham Lincoln, you start to realize, wow, this country is actually in some pretty good hands. So that's as close as we got to the Ford, but we will go on board the uh, Truman. I'll spend the night on there. And one of the greatest parts of my trip to Norfolk was the chance to meet Arizona sailors who sacrificed so much for our freedom. And one of those sailors is Stefan Roberson from Glendale, who went to Independence High School. So you'll want to watch my chat with him coming up at 810. And then his parents will be in cool. studio. So we'll talk to mom and dad about Stefan right after that. Getting their little boy some attention. Well deserved. Love that. Thank you.